Well, hello there and how are you? Once again, I've prepped my face with Village Barber Shaving Oil. And uh, you can actually shave with this stuff, with just this stuff, but I use it as a pre-shave oil. Um, my razor is going to be this uh, Parker Rose Gold uh, Variant Razor on the number three setting. I don't know if you can see that or not. Eh, probably. I don't know if that picks up on camera. Number three setting there. And my soap is going to be this, the Hasslinger, uh, Hasslinger, uh, well, it's this stuff. Uh, let's see, Schaffe Milk uh, Razor Rife, uh, whatever. It's uh, got sheep milk, uh, goat milk in it. Uh, I think uh, bio shafe milk and lanolin it says so got that going I've uh, lathered it on my pretty little scuttle here and my brush which I've mostly lathered up uh, is this KC shave company silver tip badger brush which I've had for a while I'm gonna dip it in some hot water here just the tips and try to get a uh, lather going I hope you're all doing well out there here we go a little bit more water here. Let's see. Hope I got this good. Hope everyone had a good week out there. Mine was tolerable, although I was feeling ill last night, so I slept through the night, thankfully. Let's see, I'm getting a fairly decent lather here, a little pasty maybe. I can always work on that a little bit more later if necessary. I'll let the razor and the water here, let the water out of the sink and begin pass number one with the grain. Here we go. Oh, and I forgot to mention, in there on its first use is one of these Derby Premium Blades. Those can be pretty nice sometimes. Here's hoping for a good shave. Uh, over two days worth of growth here, perhaps three days but at least two days worth of growth on my face. Wasn't feeling all that hot, so I thought I'd just skip shaving yesterday and the day before. Sometimes, depending on how good of a shave I've had previously, sometimes I only need to shave every other day. It's kind of hit and miss with me. Seems like it's really every 36 hours I need to shave instead of every 24. But then again, that also depends on uh, how good of a, how close of a shave I had previously. Okay, rinse time already. That rinsed quickly and easily. This is an attractive razor and I'm glad I got it in the rose gold which so far uh, has stayed very nice, the patina on it, or whatever you want to call it. But uh, some people don't like these Parker variants. They consider them to be too heavy, and they prefer the um, Mercur Progress. So just each of their own. I have one of each, and I switch back and forth. They're both in my rotation with a lot of other razors. I'm 
hearing good audio feedback anyway. And so far the shave is comfortable. Okay, on to the neck. I have to use a lighter touch on my neck, I think. It's prone to irritation. The lower I go on my neck, the more sensitive it seems. The bottom of my chin around in here, the jawline's fairly sensitive too. To be careful around the Adam's apple. It's a heavy razor anyway, so I can let it do most of the work in theory anyway. We had an awful lot of rain here last night, or very early this morning. Two storms came through, but one was a big disappointment. The second one, however, that might have been a billion dollar rain for the local farmers. Oh, you know what? Before I rinse, or after I rinse, I should say, well, I'm just going to pop out, pop back in lathered for a second pass where I'll go across the grain. Okay, the Parker variant rose gold still in the number three setting for the across the grain pass. <clears throat> so here we go. Yeah, in at least one instance my uh, some of my zinnia plants, wildflowers, got so bent over last night that I yanked uh, some of them out, trying to give more room for this one mums plant that was already there before I planted the wildflower seeds. And then I tried to replant one of the bigger stalks in another place, but I don't know, it might just die. There's still plenty of zinnias out there in my garden. Plenty of everything, it seems like. Except for a little mums plant that would probably benefit if it could grow as big as the other mums plants have. I don't know, maybe I'll do a little garden update. Depends on how fast I shave here. I don't want to rush it. If not, I'll do that another time, I guess. Rich, creamy lather on this soap, and not a real hard soap and not a real soft soap. Although once you get to lathering it, it seems to get softer, if that makes any sense. Uh, Sean Arter sent me this soap. He's a friend of mine on Facebook, fellow wet shaver up in Canada, I believe. He sent me this soap along with a bunch of other soaps and stuff. And I used it once before in a regular shave of the day that I didn't record, although I did take a picture of the, of the products I used and people seemed to really like this soap.
but otherwise it's still fairly new stuff to me. And due to the rich, creamy lather it makes, I can definitely see why people like it. Anything with sheep products, I guess. Sheep or goats. Okay. Mm. No, no weepers of it. Just maybe going to wipe some excess soap off there. Oops. <clears throat> yeah, still number three setting here. Try to get into some of these trouble areas ahead of time here. Sometimes I don't know how to perfectly shave certain areas down in here. So I just do the best I can. I often get the real super BBS shaves more by accident than I do by design. Maybe when I'm not overthinking the shave and I just let my muscle memory work or whatever. seem to be certain areas of the brain, certain parts of the mind or psyche that are good for something, good for thinking about some things and not so good for others. I tend to infuriate more practical people because I have a very abstract way of thinking. Not necessarily practical, at least not in the short run. Very abstract. Okay. Pop out, pop back in for pass number three against the grain. Okay, it's time to go against the grain. Here we go, still number three setting. I'll begin on my neck. might be apples and oranges to some people, but these Derby Premium Blades remind me vaguely of another blade. I think it might have been the uh, Dorco Titan Blades or something like that. One of the Dorco, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the Dorco Blades that for me also turned out to be a pretty nice blade. I sent some of these to Randy Wright from Polar Shaving, and I think he just calls his channel Randy Shaves now, or Randy's Shaving. But uh, and I wish he would have kept it at Polar Shaving, because that's a cool name, Randy. And those brushes that you were selling from Frank Shaving with the polar bear on them, uh, I bought one of those, and you sent me one, and they're both really nice, and they look really cool with that polar bear on there. And although I won't use, as a general rule, I won't use cold water to shave with, I do like those polar shaves that are high degree of menthol on a hot summer's day. Uh, they really cool, literally, excuse me. But anyway, 
I don't know if I finished saying it, but I was going to say that I had sent Randy Wright. It was either the Titan Blades or the Derby Blades. I think I sent him uh, one or two of the Titan Blades, possibly, and he ended up really liking them. But that's been probably a year ago or more. Time gets away. And there are sometimes it's good that time gets away. Like when I've had little controversies with people. Which were usually the other person's fault, only only to the extent that they misunderstood something I said. I've had controversies even with people I like, who shall remain nameless. Very nice people. Okay. So that's what the online world can do for you. You never know how people are taking what you're saying because you can't look in their eyes sometimes unless you're uh, looking at them live or something. I remember in the late 70s when the Bell system wanted to put out video phones and most of the adults didn't want them. Even today, with the capability of calling people face-to-face, -face, how many people do you actually call and speak to face-to-face? -face? If you're like me, it's very few. So, even though we have... Even though the technology was bigger and clunkier and hardwired, we had the technology for face-to-face -face video calls back in the mid to late 70s. But it wasn't very popular. It just wasn't wanted. They had microwave ovens in 1947. People didn't want them. But they were used on trains. Trains that had passenger trains with dining cars. They'd have them in the kitchen car. Hard to get perfect the area above my lip, upper lip, especially over on this side. And I don't want to overdo it because it's also where I can get weepers, even with this good setup here. I'll be right back and it'll be pickup time, everybody. I think I did get a tiny weeper up there, but some cold water will probably knock that out. And I may or may not have gotten one down there somewhere. It's pickup time, everybody. That's what time it is. Time for pickups or touch-ups. Underneath the chin and on the neck. Here we go. Still hearing audio feedback.
If I do give myself any more weepers, I hope they're just tiny, tiny ones. Which is kind of what a weeper is, better than a bleeder or a gusher. By definition, you know. I'm going to rinse this razor and go over my neck one more time. Yeah, it's a pretty much a VBS shave. This side, it'd be hard to gild the lily too much more. I guess I still could. This one over here by this trouble spot turned out real nice this time. Yeah, that's feeling really good. I'd have to say that's VBS. I'll be right back. Mr. Towel, everybody, here he is. Oh, whew. Oh, ah, hmm, yeah, ah. feeling good, feeling nice, ah, oh yeah. Now I'm going to put Mr. Towel away and uh, do a brief recap and put the finishing touches on this shave. That should put us right, right within ordinary time constraints. Um, I started out off camera, prepped my face by putting on Village Barber shaving oil as a pre-shave. My razor has been this two-piece adjustable um, it's a Parker variant razor with the rose gold handle on the number three setting all the way through the shave. And in there on its first use, one of these Derby Platinum blades. And let's see here. My soap, which I lathered in my pretty little scuttle here. And I guess I can dump the water out of that scuttle now. Uh, the Hasselman, or Hasselinger, Hasselinger. Uh, milk or razor rife, this stuff here. Uh, I have so much trouble pr pronouncing its name, even after two and a half years of high school German, most of which I've evidently forgotten. My brush that I lathered with was the uh, KC Shave Company Silver Tip Badger brush that I like so much. I even had it monogrammed on the bottom there. Okay, let's see here. Da -da 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 -da. My Next thing I'm going to do, if I've covered everything else, is 
I'm going to apply some of the Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel. Yes, sir. Let's see, we got to find. Oh, there it is. The place where you open the cap has a nice little restrictor in the cap. Nice facial toner with no alcohol. In a very light lavender scent. Very light. I don't think it'll clash with anything. Okay, let me wipe my hands off. It was a Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel, which I've had for a while. Okay, now I'm going to apply some of the Master Bay Rum Aftershave, which you've probably seen in barber shops worldwide, or at least nationwide here in this country. Probably in Canada, too. If nowhere else, U.S. and Canada, probably. Mm. That's real nice. That is the Master Bay Rum Aftershave. Finally, one more thing here. <clears throat> Haven't used this in a minute. Whoa, falling backwards. The Nivea Men Energy Double Action Balm. Let's see. I had two of these. I gave one to my friend Dave. Hope I don't end up regretting that because I'll need more of that soon if I decide to buy more. <clears throat> there's no reason I wouldn't buy more of this. It's just there's so many things I'd like to have in the uh, shaving department and otherwise. This kind of wakes up your skin and your senses a little bit, but it's still a fairly light scent that will not, uh, in my opinion, it will not clash with anything else that you're using. Let's see if I can do this without getting this, if I can get it on my eyelids, but not in my eyes. That's about it, folks. It's a pretty nice shave. I'll show you that. Last thing one more time, because sometimes I forget to show the last thing again. The Nivea Men Energy uh, Double Action Balm right there. And uh, I'm going to go for now. Peace out. I'll talk to you later. Please come back next week if we're here. And we should be, hopefully.